Hello and welcome to another housing ideas and tips video with Rosa. In this video I will be going around to each of my houses that has a bathroom or bath type area. I'm doing this video because I know there's some people who just love bathrooms and recently I have seen people in my guilds asking if they can check out people's bathrooms so they can get inspiration for making their own bathrooms so I figured I would go to each of my houses that has a bathroom type area and show them to give inspiration to others. So firstly I'm in my Amaya Lake Lodge house as this was the first house I ever did a bath type area in so if you're familiar with this house when you come up these stairs on to the very top level I've put my bath area here just using two dark elf dividers there to make it a bit private so just the Halalu bathtub here, which is currently the only bathtub available in the game. There is a Eleanor bathtub coming that is bigger than this one that can seat two people in it, I believe. So do look out for that one. And as the bath mat, I have used the Velocity Sarah cloth, I believe it's called. And as it is small, it makes a perfect bath mat, which you would stand on when you come out the bath. And in this area as well, to make it seem more like a bath area, I just put some towels there and some drawers where you'd have more towels or other things like uh, soap or whatever and up here to make it seem more relaxing I have the dark elf sensor which might have some nice relaxing scent coming out of it so you can just relax while you have your bath so that's my bath area in this house and outside I have a toilet area just under the stairs here it was one of the first toilet areas I did which I've used the orkish counter and the argonian basket as the toilet seat lid just put it upside down as it does look like a lid that you'd put on a toilet even though it's not but looks like it and just a paper stack there for practical reasons and here I just have the Argonian urn claw foot which you might used to empty the toilet or whatever and over here is where you would wash your hands I've just got the Halalu towels there and this is the it's the high elf basin which I have just turned upside down to use the smaller part here just where you'd wash your hands there so that's just the toilet area I have set up in this house so the next house I have set up a bathroom in is my Strident Springs house this is in my house extension curtain there which you can can close for practical reasons just got the halalu bathtub there 
This bath area is pretty small, but it works. And I've just used the Tolani table runner as the bath mat, as it is small. And I've used the Eleanor mirrored desk and more towels there as they're needed in a bathroom area. And these candles of silence I put in as they give a good feel to the bath area and they could be scented so you can relax while you're having a bath. So that's just the small area I have set up here in my Strynet Springs house. In my house of the Silent Magnifico, I also have a small bathing area, which is again private as you'd be able to close these curtains and have your bath. So the Hilalu bathtub again and I'm using the Redguard Vanity Florid which has the mirror on it. Perfect for a bathroom area and I should mention I've just been calling these towels but they are actually the quality fabric stacked but to me they look like a towel stack so I use them as towels which works well and yeah just a small cabinet there and another candle I find candles give a nice feel to a bathroom type area so this is just the bathroom area I've set up here which is the in the red guard style. The last house that I have a bathroom in is my Eleanor townhouse which in my opinion I think is the best bathroom that I have done. If you're familiar with the Eleanor townhouse when you come up the stairs to the second level here. This area is normally open but I have closed it off to make my bathroom area. Again it is private as you can for practical reasons you'd be able to close the curtains and have a private bath or use the toilet here. Over here I just have the bath and using the Velothi Cerecloth as the bath mat again. And I just put a bucket there for practical reasons as you'd use it to fill up the bath. And just a cupboard here where you'd store towels and other items. Using the candles of silence again in my house as I like the feel they give to a bathroom and using the Eleanor mirrored desk here as a mirror is a must in a bathroom and just some knickknacks there on this desk. And over here is the toilet and wash up area. So for this toilet, it's actually the Eleanor Fountain 4-Way Time Worn. This fountain is comes with the Eleanor Townhouse, which as you can see is a 4-Way Fountain. I've hidden the other parts of it in the wall but as you can see it makes a good 
toilet as it is shaped like a toilet bowl and if you want to flush it you just turn it on and it can seem like a toilet and for the hand washing basin here it's also a Eleanor fountain but instead it's just the Eleanor fountain time worn which is taller than the four-way fountain. This fountain is perfect for a toilet as it, as it is smaller than the other one here. So this makes a perfect area to put a bowl down and you can turn it on and fill up the bowl with water. This bowl is just the Red Guard bowl, which I have found they make a perfect hand washing basin as they are, they're not too small and they're not too big, so you can easily fit it there as you can see on the counter and fill it up with water and you can just wash your hands there. And I've just got the Jester's Kofa there just to fill up the counter space and I've got the Breton counter with the Breton sideboard not work just in there. For a bathroom you can never have too many cupboards or things to put your towels and other bathroom items in. I'll also mention this hand washing basin idea you can use in a kitchen where you can clean dishes and other items in a kitchen. So that's each of the bathrooms that I have. I know they are pretty similar except with this townhouse one which is my newest bathroom I have put together. Thanks to these fountains, I've been able to make a cleaner looking bathroom as well as with these Eleanor furnishings. So I hope each of these bathroom and bathing areas help and inspire you to do your own. So if you have any questions or comments, put those down below. And as always, I will see you around. Thanks for watching.